Last year, this guy was giving me advice like about comedy. This is his advice. He's like, when you come on stage, you should do a funny walk. <laughs> like, yeah, I guess. But also, if this was your first impression of me, like if I came out just now like, hello, hello, I'm a comedian. Most of you would be like, I guess that's just how he walks normally. <laughs> He's very agile on those crutches though. I like to act out stories when I tell them, which is a problem because even the most like innocent, ordinary story becomes really uncomfortable when you tell it if you use crutches. Example. So let's say you were telling a story. You'd be like, uh, so I was, I was walking along in the park and, uh, and then I saw your mom, actually. So I, and I was like, I want to catch up with her. So I started walking faster. And I was like, oh, I've got to catch your mom. Right? That's how you would tell the story. Now, if I told that exact same story, I'd be like, so I was walking along in the park. <laughs> and then I saw your mom. And I was like, oh, I got to catch up to your mom. <laughs> like, my actual mom was here last week at the show. I don't think she liked this joke very much. It's like, I don't know what to tell you, mom. This is how I actually walk. Like this, every step of my life, this is my walking. So when I tell stories, I just pretend I have two legs and just kind of walk like you to avoid that sort of awkward moment. Can you imagine if you just saw me in public doing that, like I was telling you stories, like you were like, hey, uh, can I get directions to the promenade? I'm like, yeah, okay, so you're going to walk over, over there. You're like, what? What is wrong? No, no, just this is, you're just walking. <laughs>